Well, we're here in the Ozarks, and I'm out here with Jim Spencer and Jill, and uh, also their friend Randy, and they got a kind of a cool little thing that we're going to show you here. Uh, they trap together, there's all three of them, and they stop at each spot, and they each put one set in. So they stop at 20 places, and they got 60 sets in, and it's really, this is actually a really nice spot here. Jill is actually up the road. She's gonna put a set in on the corner there, a little triangle that uh, comes down that two track. And there's another two track that comes out right there. But you can see we're up on top of one of the mountaintops or ridges here in the Ozarks. And it's just uh, really beautiful here. And as you see down here, um, Jim, and you might know Jim Spencer from all of his books and writings. Uh, Turkey Hunter's Digest, a bunch of different things, and he's right here on this point. And there's a two track that comes up out of there, and a two track that comes up out of there, and this is Randy down there about 30, 40 yards, and he's putting one in as well. But Jimmy's the uh, editor of the Trapper magazine. Um, he writes the editor's note every month, and I've spent some time when was that, Jim? 2003? Three or four. I don't know. It's been a long time ago. Yeah, we were out on water the, under the bridge. The White River doing your uh, boat line. But uh, he's going to put a set in here on this corner. But this is a great location. We're going to show you a lot of different uh, locations that they're basically using here. Um, two tracks and, and uh, top of ridges, uh, areas that they're trapping here in the Ozark Mountains. What I like to do, these two two travel ways coming together here and one going behind me. So I'm covering actually three three places or three trails with the same set. And I want a backing that's not too big, but a big enough that, that it deters him, discourages him from working the set from the back. I like to set on a slight uphill incline. I've got just about a five degree slope here, which is Kind of enough to position the critter on the downhill side, which is where I want him. It's not brain surgery, you just gotta think it through. We don't use jigging tools as as such in this country because this is what we're dealing with. Uh, so I use a, a ripping hammer. Drive a stake with it if I want to. Drive a staple in a tree, dig a hole. Very versatile tool. <clears throat> I think I've got my hole a little bit too deep, but I don't care. We'll just make a step down. The the real key in any trapping, and especially important in rocky soil, is you've got to really bed, be careful and bed that trap solidly. I I use these rocks to kind of wedge them in. Sometimes I take my hammer and kind of tap one in where it'll get under the jaws good. All right, let's see. Now, right, should you see that pan? See that? I gotta fix that. Get that rock right there. Nope, not quite. Now, now it's solid. If he feels that trap move, if he doesn't step on the pan first, you're going you're not gonna catch him. What we use because we have so much rock is a basically it's just a filler to replace the the dirt that I dug out of the hole. It's not that it was rock. We use a mixture of buckwheat hulls and, and old sawdust. And it's kind of it water, almost waterproofs the set because the buckwheat holes are, are oily and it freeze proofs it to a certain extent too. All right, all right, now my set's made. We don't use a very obvious hole like a lot of uh, dirt hole sets in open country because this is public land and it, it, we want to make our sets as 
as inconspicuous as possible, basically, is what, is what you want. Uh, that's just a basic uh, hole to put the lure in. And it, to the, to the uh, average bystander, they don't even know that there's anything here. A good trapper would real recognize that as a set, probably, but, you know. A little bit of lure down in the hole and squirt a cat pee on the on my backing and I'm done. Now, if there's anything going by here tonight, I've got a good chance of getting him. Email us today for a free catalog to browse all of our traps and snares, baits and lures, and much more. Get all of your trapping and predation control needs by emailing to info at NorthAmericanTrapper.com for your free catalog. Proven products equals proven conservation. Welcome back to Duke Trap's presentation of North American Trapper with Alan Probst. <laughs> Got a skunk today. I am the skunk queen of this trapping season so far. I have gotten two of the blackest, finest skunks you have ever seen. Well, let's seen. go up and take a look at them. We're uh, just starting off, as we said. We just were on that back road there, and Jim showed us the uh, Jim showed us the what do you call it? The hog, hog tree? Hog rub. The hog rub and the hog tree. And we're stopping here on this road. It's just a beautiful uh, little pine. This is what's thicket. called a cedar glade. In yep, way. cedar glade. Uh huh. And uh, Jill, you said you're the skunk master. Skunk queen. Skunk queen. Yes. I love it. Well, lead us up there to your prize. Ah. Oh. That's one of the cool things here. Uh, they got a whole, and this is Randy. Hi. Randy's got some traps set too, and we're out here uh, just doing like a whole line. Man, that is a pretty skunk. Yep. Got a lot of white, big old white head. Now what'd you have in there, just a dirt hole or? Yeah. We're gonna show you remake a new one. I think you're gonna put a new one in, right? I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna move it down just a little bit. About in here somewhere? Uh-huh. Okay. But yeah, that's a pretty skunk. Squirrel or something worked the set. But we use, uh, this is a, our standard set. It's a very in, inconspicuous set because we've got a lot of human traffic in the in the National Forest that, you know, out of sight, out of mind, basically. You know, a big sight, flashy dirt pattern, you know, big hole. That works for critters, but it, it attracts too much attention. Yeah. No, I'm sure people are going to see that. Tell them why yeah, you well, have that. Well, I'm out, I'm out of out of sight of the road here you know so and it's a it's a secluded place i i like to use flags uh for uh for cats for, well, for one reason it kind of deters the coyotes and i don't i'm not really wanting to catch coyotes very much and that's what we're doing is trapping for predator control for help our turkey flock a little bit yeah it's, like it's beautiful in here though here. this is just gorgeous this does look catty though all that it thick is. It, it is. that that tree right there is held a dozen cats for me over the years. <laughs> Just a really good location. I actually, uh, I was going to buy a, a license and trap with you here, but I'm having more fun already just watching you guys. I'm not even going to set any here. Mm -hmm. That's all right, though. I'm going to catch as many as they are because I get credit for every one of them, right? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of you, skunk girl. Alan, not everybody can set a trap with their hands. A lot of women have a problem with it. So, uh, some of the other ladies you've dealt with probably do the same thing. But I set my traps with my feet, and it's a pretty simple process. Just step on the trap, and this is much less stressful on your hands and arms than setting a trap the, with your hands. Always try to put the dog towards the back because that's one more thing to keep an animal from getting his foot caught. I told you all about the bad dirt and now I've got a place that actually has dirt. Should have picked someplace else. We 
like to use a combination of cover holes and old sawdust. It's a good mixture. It doesn't freeze very rapidly. And it gives the trap, gives you a little dirt when you don't have it anyway. It does a lot of other things too. We don't use bait very much because animals in our part of the world, well, first of all, it's hard to hide. I like to run my bait around, I mean, my lure around the trap hole a little bit and put it in. I think too much backing scares away a lot of animals, so I'll go with something low like that. A couple of squirts of urine. There you go. This segment of North American Trapper has been brought to you by The Trapper Magazine, your number one source for news on trapping and predator calling. Visit trappermag.com and get your subscription today. Welcome back to Duke Trap's presentation of North American Trapper with Alan Probst. Well, this is just an awesome spot right here down in this gorge and you can see the rock walls and cliffs that uh, have been here forever probably. But what's really cool is this stream comes out from under the ground. You can actually see the riffle right there. And this is uh, one of those limestone, sandstone based streams. That water is probably just delicious, probably right around 50 degrees as well. This is optimum trout waters. We have this back in Pennsylvania too, but you can see uh, how gorgeous this is. But the one cool thing is this rock wall and uh, the water is a definite attractant. And you'll see how this rock wall here is. And the one thing is that the uh, raccoons, bobcats, all those critters work along here. The animals are gonna actually hug that wall up under there. And uh, a lot of times you can see the tracks and actually right here are some tracks. You can see some old coon tracks right there. Um, I'm not quite sure what that is. That looks like uh, that might be a front foot of a coon, but you can see how they'll go up under these rock ledges. And over here, we've already seen uh, right here on the other side, right along this edge is a cat track. And you can see the cat track right there. So the animals are going to walk along this edge. They're going to hunt up and down and through there. And Jim and Jill and Randy are going to put sets here. And you can see all the animal traffic right here as well. Real fresh coon tracks. You got front feet, back feet. And here's one of the things also. You can actually see that those tracks are going both ways. You got tracks going left and you got tracks going right. And any time that you can see tracks going both ways, you're on a good travel way. They're going to put three sets in here up along this wall. I'm sure right here at this corner. This corner is about as good a spot as you can get. They're going to walk right around that corner right there, either coming from that thick stuff up there on that side or coming along this rock edge right there. If you find these locations, look for the traffic. We got sign right there. Jim, Jill, and Randy are going to put some in. And I'm here uh, another day or so. And hopefully when we come back in here tomorrow, they'll have a critter. But just an awesome, beautiful spot down along this side. And Jill's going over to pick her. Pick her spot right now. Where are you going to put it, Jill? I'm going to go on the end down there, I think. Cool. Down, get there. down by the two trees. Down by the two I'm going to cut you off. Ha ha. 
Cut her off, he says. And you can see this wash here when the high water comes. You can see how it comes down through this side. Just a really cool area where uh, there's going to be a lot of animal traffic. And as you can see, right along that edge, you got tracks going both ways you got an old cat track you got raccoon tracks going both ways and fully expect them to have some action here and hopefully it happens when i'm here riding around with them email us today for a free catalog to browse all of our traps and snares baits and lures and much more get all of your trapping and predation control needs by emailing to info at northamericantrapper.com for your free catalog proven products equals proven conservation welcome back to duke traps presentation of north american trapper with alan probst another nestorator jimmy Huh? Another nestorator. Yeah, boy, a big one too. Is he a big one? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is that set you made yesterday on that you're talking about that inside corner. Yeah, I guess possums are lazy too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the set that Jim put in yesterday. It was obviously a lot brighter and a lot sunnier. But we were talking about uh, he mentioned how the animals will stay on that inside track and this is the inside track right here coming down through and he ended up catching them right there beautiful all right that's a pretty pretty coyote and i believe he was uh I believe he uh, was caught on the uh, cow, I mean, uh, bobcat lure. Oh, yeah. He got him in there. He doesn't look too rubbed up, Jimmy. He doesn't, does he? he doesn't, yeah, for this time of year, he doesn't look too rubbed up. Hi, buddy. He's got a really nice uh, paleness to him, though. Yeah. Light. Yeah, your set was right there. There's your bed. Right. Right on the side of that two track. We'll do that again. Come down, yeah, you'll remake it right down through there. That's a mountain, mountain coyote. Yeah. <laughs> a hill, a hill yote. Hot on fox right now. Yeah, yeah, we got the fox, the coyote today. Pretty nice. This is a beautiful spot though. Randy's gonna take care of him and beautiful gray fox, but this bottom right here, just a uh awesome road and it definitely looks catty and gray fox like coming up out of this bottom. Very nice. Pretty day. Sets that they put in, you saw, it's, it's very simple. You're, you're digging a bed, but the one thing that they're doing also is bedding that trap properly. And that in and of itself is gonna solve pretty much every problem you're gonna run into. As long as you have a trap bedded properly out here on the line, you're gonna solve those issues uh, with the canines. Um, and you're gonna have good sets, good working sets. Uh, they just made a little punch hole because they're in a lot of rocky territory here. They're not making dirt holes. Punch hole or two, lure a little bait or two, and um, you can do this pretty much anywhere across the country and handle uh, your problem animals and plus come out here and have some fun. But we'll see you on down the road and one last look at the Ozark National Forest over here in Arkansas. 
North American Trapper Predation Packages. Get any one of our specific trapping packages that has been ultimately designed to help you become the master predation controller of your farm, ranch, or hunting lease. Control the predators that are costing you time and money and get out there trapping today with one of our North American Trapper Predation Boxes. All of the packages come with the trapping essentials to get you out in the field, plus an instructional DVD that will show you the way. Visit us at NorthAmericanTrapper.com and start breaking dirt today.